Good morning, my name is Regan Tetlow and this is DISL. It's a Saturday morning, the sun is just rising behind us and we've got the competitors and all the staff in the hangar right now for the first team briefing of the day. It's a cold start, we've got lots of great action coming your way. We've got the pros, we've got the amateurs and we've got the newbies with their accuracy jumps too. I can't wait, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> So what is DISL, the Dubai International Swoop League? Very much like all other CP events, but different as well. We've got the normal activities, the free round Ooh, distance, go we've got speed and we've got zone accuracy. But we've also got the amateurs and the newbies too. They're doing their accuracy jumps. I'm just finding out a little bit about that right now. We've got the team briefing about to start. And there's also canopy kiting. They've got to land, run through some bollards and keep the canopy flying above them as they run through an S, an S curve. It's going to be fantastic to watch. All right, so we're with Exi. Exi, we're uh, looking at the accuracy side of it now, the beginner's accuracy. Can you tell us a little bit about how this works? That's very simple. We have a circle of five. The highest number is in the outside ring, and that counts five uh, points, and it's the worst score in this competition. The best score is the bullseye hitting the center, and if you're standing up, you're getting the zero point, which is the best. And if you're falling down, then you get uh, a plus two, which means that you're not so good as having the bullseye. If you leave the circle of five, you're getting an eight pointer. If you fall down, you get two points more, which is 10 points, and that is the worst score. Anything else? I think that covers it. <laughs> Seen anything like this before in, in skydiving? Uh, not like this, not, not for beginners. Right. Yeah, it's good. It's good for them, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Cheers, Ian, thank you. Right, thank you. What a beautiful day it's been here. This is Man, it's, it's, it's really good because we try to involve everyone, every, every jumper, every skydiver who has a license, who has an A license at least. Everybody can join it, everybody can be part of. Everybody can feel the challenge of the competition and and the atmosphere. You yeah, know? yeah. So it's really good. Everyone can join it. There is three different categories. There is beginner oh, category. All you need to oh. do to be able to join this beginner category is to be able to fly a parachute. Yeah. Right, left, flare. Right. If you know how to do that, I know many skydivers who can't do that. If you know how to do that, if you know how to do that, you can compete here. Right. With the ISL. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
for these beginners, what a great experience for them. It is, it is. I really recommend it to everybody because it's one of the best ways how to learn to fly your canopy properly. The beginners is super fun. To me, is the best part because half of these guys are our students. Yeah. So once they finish with the students, they go to uh, canopy piloting courses. A couple of them, they start competing, and it's uh, pretty exciting to see them, especially on the podium. They're all excited. This guy, this guy, this is the guy I'm watching, huh? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> The last one, the, the first one of the year, is a brand new world record in speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 2.80. That, that would be really slow. No, 2.084. 2. 2. Yeah, man. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how was that jump? It looked far, but like you got the best. Yeah, it was. It was good. It, it wasn't clean at all. A bit too low. A uh, few. A few people were low. Yes. The downwind. It's funny, but the downwind always calls you for. Always calls you to put yourself in a low position. Right. Why? I don't know why. Yeah. But, uh, it always feels like when when you go for a downwind distance, it's very easy to end up in that low corner. <laughs> Is there a capacity for this event? I mean, is there, is there a certain number you can't take anymore? Or is it welcome? I mean, can you take more and more people for this DISL? Free buffet, man. All you can, all you can eat. Wow, great. Come here. <laughs> Free buffet. Power it up. Always a pleasure. Right, so that's it, that's the uh, competition done. Everything uh, got done in time. All the rounds are finished, everybody's safe. We're just gonna do the presentations very shortly. We have the beginners with their canopy uh, kiting, we have the advanced and we have the pros as well. It's been my first time commentating DISL and I've really thoroughly enjoyed it. I can't wait for the next one. Hope you're gonna be here too. It's end of February, DISL number three with me commentating Regan Tetlow. Until then, thanks very much, we'll see you soon. Place. He was in the lead for quite a while actually and he finished off on 34 points. He picks up 2,000 US dollars. Ladies and gentlemen, Stephen Chu. Now the winner of the second meet of DISL with a prize of 2,500 US dollars, Matthew Ruenet. One more time, let's hear it for these beginner agonizing champions. Thank you guys, thank you very much. Score of 579.968. He's with the fastest guy, canopy piloting team with the UAE. Ladies and gentlemen, the champion of DISL, meet number two, Mo Baker! Give all your champions one big more round of applause.
And now let's have everybody, please. Everybody up here for the final photograph. Let's have everybody up here. Everybody into the shot. Come on, doesn't matter if you weren't competing. We'll have everybody in there. <laughs> Three, two, one! Yeah! So that's it. I hope you had a great day. We'll see you all again for the next DISL end of February. Until next time, my name is Regan Tetlow. Good night. <laughs>